how to repurpose YouTube videos to IGTV. Today, I'm going to show you how you can repurpose your YouTube videos to IGTV on Canva. Make sure to stay until the end to learn about two tips I'm gonna give you about growing your audience. Hey, I'm Karma Hunter, and I'm the owner of KarmaDNA.com. I help coaches, freelancers, and online entrepreneurs get clients consistently without social media burnout so that they can scale with evergreen systems and strategies. I post weekly content about online marketing, coaching, and entrepreneurship. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive the latest updates on my videos. Don't forget to check out the free training under the description of my video. So let's start. This is my YouTube channel and today I'm gonna go with market research strategies for coaches and service providers. Okay, so let's hop on Canva. Let's go to Canva. On Canva, uh, search for nine by 16 templates. It's gonna give you a bunch of different templates. See if there is anything any of the layouts that you, any of the designs that you like. I already made one for myself, so I'm gonna show you mine. It's very simple, literally it just is on a background. And I just put two um, boxes here and all I'm doing is breaking up my YouTube video title and putting it above and below the little video box. And then I put my YouTube channel address there, URL, and a little subscribe button. So because I have a different um, link in my bio on Instagram, um, I am just I, I just chose to do it this way and just put my YouTube channel name. Um, it's pretty much, I mean, this is very easy. So anybody can find it with this. It's not just a, uh, you know, odd URL, obviously. So this is what I do because I don't want to change the link in my bio. So anyway, let's do this. And since I have the template already, I am going to go ahead and just replace these. I'll show you what I do in the end. Um, I'm going to go to uploads and upload media device. And I'm going to find my market research strategies for coaches and service providers video. And here, while that's uploading, I'm going to drag and drop that to, okay, I'm just gonna pause it for now, <laughs> to the, um, the video box I already had. So it already replaced my video, right? And then here I'm gonna, change the heading market research service providers okay and i'm going to keep this here and this here what i'm going to do is i am going to also make a cover page for this so I'm just gonna use the same YouTube thumbnail I have. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna copy, um, and do, I'm sorry, duplicate the same thing. And I'm just gonna do this. And this time I am going to put, um, I'm going to upload um, the thumbnail I have for this specific video here it is and there it is i'm just gonna fit it size actually yellow worked worked for this too see if if my thumbnail was a different color and if yellow didn't work for it then i would change this yellow to whatever is matching my thumbnail color. but right now i'm good like this now here's the juicy tip number one it's always good to have your audience follow you and engage with you cross platforms, meaning send your audience from your YouTube to your Instagram, vice versa, 
from TikTok to your YouTube, vice versa, Facebook to YouTube, vice versa, right? So that's the number one tip. Always try to encourage people to, you know, follow you in different platforms and engage you. This is also going to help you get some very loyal following, very loyal prospects. Number two, the second tip I want to share with you is how we are going to send our audience from Instagram to YouTube in this case, right? While we're while we're uh, repurposing YouTube videos to IGTV. Also, we want them to check us out on YouTube. But now, just because we have our YouTube um, URL here doesn't mean that they're just going to go directly to YouTube. If, it, if they can watch it here, why not, right? So now, we want to give them a better experience because here, it's already, IGTV size is already small. And now when you put the YouTube little box there it's even smaller so you want your audience to watch it on youtube on full screen preferably of course so what we're going to do is we're not going to give them the whole video we are going to trim this video so click on the video box and then here on the left top corner you will see a uh, an icon of scissors um do like um over two minute clip let's say for this one and you see now it's only two minutes and 10 seconds so now if they want to watch more they're going to need to go to youtube and watch more and usually after two minutes is the juicier part of the information especially if it's a tutorial type of information we already have our cover for igtv and we have our little snippet repurposed video from um, our YouTube video. I download these pages separately because the first one I want it to be the video and the second one I want it to be a still picture. So I click on download. Um, it's already selected the MP4 video and I'm going to deselect all pages I'm just going to select page one. I'm going to say done. I'm going to say download and I'm going to download. Now for the second one, second page, I'm going to again go back to download and I'm going to say PNG this time. Deselect all the other pages. Only select page two. Click on done and click on download. Now you downloaded each page in the format that you want. So you can use this on your Instagram and you can get more reach. Also, you can send your audience across platforms. I hope you like this. Let me know what part of this video, what part of this tutorial was helpful 